He wrote a book that sold three million copies and was made into a Hollywood blockbuster. And now he's in St Kilda. Greg Varen. Thank you. Hello. I went to see a concert the other night back where I live in the States. As I approached the venue, the security guard wanted my attention, so he goes like this. He goes, excuse me, friend. Excuse me, friend. Hey, friend! <laughs> Weird use of the word friend. Virtually no friend vibe at all. Like I had a hard time imagining a friendship blossoming from this encounter. <laughs> he goes, excuse me, friend. I'm going to have to take that chain wallet from you. I'm going to have to nix the chain wallet and your bracelet. And I was like, why? Because of the wars? Terrorism? Upgrades to security? That sort of thing? He goes, no. I go, why? He goes, because you're 40. <laughs> that's not, no, that's not funny. That's not nice. And I'm 46. <laughs> yeah, I use an eye cream. And, um, <laughs> I had this moment and I started thinking, fuck, am I getting too old to rock? Like, can you be too old to rock? Is that possible? Can you be too old to rock, do you think? Yeah. What do you think? No? You're nice people and you're all full of shit. Listen to me. <laughs> Let's do an experiment. Be 18 for a minute. Be 18 in your head. Now, go to a concert. You're 18, you're rocking out, you're at a concert, you're having a good time, the band's on, you're getting loaded. Woohoo! Look around. Uh-oh, who's that? Creepy old guy. <laughs> yeah, now you remember me. Creepy. Old, rocking solo, came by himself. Getting old's a bitch, man, and there's a lot of young dudes here tonight, and I know you're looking at me like, I ain't going out like that, bro. <laughs> uh oh, yes, motherfucker, you are, so listen to me tonight. Hear me. <laughs> listen to me with your tight skin and your judgment, because... <laughs> yeah. It's not like you think it's gonna be. You think you have time, you do not. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's like one day you're a vital dude with plans and information, boom, next day you're an old man. Old man, you got a brand new vocabulary, new words you're using, ointment. Not as a joke, as a fact. Why'd you say ointment, Greg? Well, because I needed one. How come? Because I was sore. What were you sore from? Check it out. Fucking sleeping wrong. <laughs> sleeping wrong! That's real! It's fucking real! That's a real thing! My dad used to say that all the time. He'd be like, I slept wrong. I'd be like, how did you fuck that up? You just lay down. <laughs> how do you fuck up sleeping? You just lay down. And I would mock him, you know? <laughs> My brain's starting to fall apart. I'm starting to do this thing where, you know like when you want to say something, like you know what you're going to say, like you pick the words out, and then you go to say the words, and different words come out of your mouth. <laughs> so I'm in a restaurant the other night, I'm going to have a chicken sandwich. Not even a sentence, just two words, bro. Chicken sandwich. Not only do I know that I'm going to have a chicken sandwich, I've had them before, but I've said the words for a lifetime separately and together, and I've read them on the menu. So, ostensibly, I've rehearsed. <laughs> so the waitress comes over and she says, what would you like to have to today, sir? What would you like to have today, sir? And with a great amount of confidence, I tell her that I'd like to have a chicken situation. A chicken, I'm baffled, she's baffled, we're just staring at each other. She's hot, I'm old! My name's Craig Barron, thank you all very much. Have a good night. <laughs>